and gun crimes are something you hear about all over the news. And it's a hard problem to fix, but there are ways we do help prevent them, like security at airports gun con and gun control. Gun control is a great thing, but I think we need to increase it by increasing background checks. And because as you can see here, a lot of crimes are happening with guns that are obtained legally. So that's just proof that we need to kind of increase background checks. And another big problem is terrorism. Terrorism happens all over the world, like in I Iraq where ISIS is. But first off, ISIS is completely misunderstood. They're not doing everything because of their religion. Islam is a peaceful religion, and they're not all terrorists. Recently, planes have been going missing, and ISIS has claimed a few of them. But just last Thursday, another one went missing. No one exactly knows exactly what happened to it, but people do suspect that terrorism might have been part of it. In Australia, they actually have lots of laws banning guns. So as you can see here, gun crimes have actually been decreasing after the gun law they made in 1996. So I think like we don't exactly want to get rid of all guns because people like to hunt and the Second Amendment protects that. But yeah, but here in the US you can kind of see mass shootings and are really increasing over the years and so is terrorism and other crimes. A couple of days ago, there was a robbery, an armed robbery, and this man tried to stop it, but he was shot and killed, and that left his family devastated. Um, so here, as you can see, um, these are some of the weapons used in robberies, and yeah. Another big problem is murders and kidnappings because it's just increasing and increasing. Like, there have been 12,000 gun murders every year on average. That's like 1,000 a month and over 32 a day. And that's really a lot. 